don't know if you guys can tell i'm at the top of a tree but uh <laughs> What today's video about has the potential to change your life and I would argue that it's literally what life is all about and that is managing your attention on. You might not realize it but your attention goes probably about 60,000 places a day. Every time your mind has a thought, your attention switches and you start to follow that thought, your attention is being taken in whatever direction that thought is going. And we live in a society where there's so many things around us just trying to get our attention. You open up your phone, your computer, the apps are just made to get your attention, to make you clip, to distract you. And so it's like there's a war on your attention. But those of you that are able to recognize this and be more conscious of it so that you can direct your attention in the directions that you <laughs> like the real you actually wants it to go you'll almost have like a superpower that will set you apart from nearly everybody in our society who is just constantly locked in these cycles of distraction allowing their attention to go in ways that aren't really serving them aren't serving a meaningful purpose and aren't moving them closer to who they really want to be so the people that can recognize this and adopt what i'm about to teach you you will have a superpower in today's society and it will really make you stand out the more you practice the more you'll realize that it really does make a difference and so how do you take control of your attention and unlock the power of controlling your attention it really all comes back to awareness when you become aware of when you're being distracted, that is the first step to being able to break the cycle and bring your awareness back to the direction that you want it to go. But what direction do you actually want your attention to go? And that is a more personal question because if you don't know where you want your attention to go, what things you want to direct your attention to, it's going to be so much easier. There's no point in even recognizing where your attention's going because you don't know where you want it flowing. And so it starts to have a meaningful goal or a purpose in mind. Maybe not for your whole life, you don't have to figure that out, but a purpose for your month, a purpose for your week, maybe some year long goals, some long term goals, because those set the structure for what you want your attention to follow. Once you have these goals in mind and you are able to recognize when your attention is getting distracted and what you need to direct your attention to attention to in order to reach those goals you are on the first step of becoming successful and separating yourself from literally everyone else this is probably the most important step because you also have to have a solid why behind your goals if you don't know why you're doing something then why are you doing it <laughs> think about it but if you have a why that is meaningful and connects deeply to who you are and who you want to be then it's going to give you the inspiration and that motivation necessary to direct your attention back towards it when you find it slipping the next step when it comes to taking back control of your attention is practice this isn't something that you're like oh now i know where i want my attention to go and why i want it to go that direction now life is easy i'm great i <laughs> go to the gym every day and i'm a great role model for the people around me no it's not that easy because your brain is stuck in these habits and cycles that direct your attention everywhere else. Everywhere around you is meant to distract you from your goals, from your purpose, from your intention. So it is your job to consciously recognize when you are shifting your attention to things that don't serve you and directing them back. And this is literally a whole life practice. This is something that you need to practice on a daily basis. This is almost the essence of meditation, but on a more practical level because you're taking it into your everyday life and using it to take you to the next step and where you want to go. In meditation, you kind of sit down, you close your eyes, you go inward and you start to recognize your thoughts and you focus on your breath but inevitably your mind drifts away to another random thought like, oh, I wonder what this person's doing today. What am I gonna have for dinner? What did I do before this? It's inevitable, your mind's going to drift, but the practice of meditation is recognizing when your mind drifts and bringing your attention back to your breath. And how you bring this practice into your everyday life is recognizing when you wanted to go to the gym to get in shape, when you wanted to work on your business, but you recognize that your attention goes somewhere else and you go, oh, I'm scrolling through social media. 
oh, I'm thinking about what I did last week that's making me feel bad, that's not really serving me in becoming a better person, a better version of myself now. And this is like a whole lifelong practice because you're directing your thoughts, you're directing your energy into the person that you want to become. And at the end of the day, that is the power of taking back control of your attention is becoming the person that you want to become. And now there are other things that play into this, such as your time and energy. These three act in a synergistic triangle effect because you have a limited amount of energy, you have a limited amount of attention, and you have a limited amount of time. And where you direct these three things determines literally your whole life. And so learning to be mindful of how you use these resources, being mindful of how you spend them and spending them in a conscious way is literally the most important thing that you can do to become the person that you want to be. And for me right now, that's what I feel life is generally about, is becoming the person that you want to be for yourself, for the people around you, so that you can just be okay being who you are because that's something not everyone can say today, unfortunately. Uh, but I hope that is something that you can say or at least can will be able to say in the future once you start taking these steps. I truly mean that. I truly wish the best for you guys. I hope that you can find some peace. I hope that you go outside today. I hope that you make someone smile and I will see you in the next one. Peace.